Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Senior Vice President of Business Development at Deepwell Services, John Sabo. Let's go. How's everybody doing today? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, my name's John Sabo. I'm currently Senior Vice President of Business Development there at Deepwell Services. Been involved with oil and gas for about 20 years. Who here is ready for President Donald J. Trump to make us energy independent again? Let's go! Let's go! It starts right here. It starts right now in PA. That's why we're here. I come from Steel Valley, Monal Homestead area of Pittsburgh. Come from a family of multi-generation of steel workers. It's an honor to be here with other patriots like you today that believe in the same things that we believe in. The people from this area are known for a certain amount of grit, a certain amount of perseverance, and we wear that like a badge of honor everywhere that we go. There's so many hardworking people here today. I'm here today to talk about energy. These hard-working oil field workers that you see right here work 24-7, 365. They're responsible for providing life-sustaining energy for you every day. In the heat, in the cold, in the rain, in the sleet, in the snow. This group of energy workers value family, value discipline, value commitment, value perseverance, and have a relentless approach to their daily activities to bring energy to you. Let's give them all a hand. Every day, we flip the switch on. We use our cell phone, we turn on the TV, we drive our vehicles, we put on our clothes, we heat our homes. All with life-sustaining energy. The Harris team is lying. The Harris team is flip-flopping. Everybody here, we are not buying it. Yes, we are not buying this. Absolutely not buying it. We're tired of the lies. We're tired of the deceit. We are tired of going to the grocery store and spending $500 instead of $200. We're tired of the fake news outlets painting us patriotic Americans as bad. I'm here today to speak loud. We're speaking for everybody here. We're speaking for all of Pennsylvania. And everybody's going to hear us and hear us loud today. There are more of us than there are of them. We're paying attention. We had enough. We had enough. We're here today to fight, and fight is what we're going to do. And fight is what's going to get us to win in November. A shockwave was sent through our energy industry with the Biden-Harris administration immediately upon shutting down the Keystone XL. This action immediately killed jobs created a negative market for growth and hurt our American families. In addition, the regulatory issues with the permits, the Biden, Biden and Harris added more choke points for us for new infrastructure, cutting activity on federal lands, and LNG stoppage at a critical time for our country. Exactly, exactly. Oil and, glass, oil and gas works in many towns, just like the ones you're here from. We eat at your restaurants, we stay at your hotels, we help build your roads, we support your small businesses, we sponsor your youth and high school athletic teams, we provide mentorship and coaching at high schools and universities, showing them there's another great path and an amazing industry to pursue. We're all in this together.
So how can we help? How can everybody here help? Let's go. Let's go. You can visit Swamp the Vote USA forward slash PA to register to vote. Okay, request your ballot by mail or your local board of elections in your home county. As President Trump says, we need to swamp them. If we swamp them, we will win. I'm very proud to be able to come here and speak today. It's very personal to me. I was in the crowd on July 13th on that front left side, right between the shooter and President Trump. And I will never forget that day. But we need to talk about that. We need to make sure that no one's ever forgetting that. We're not talking about that enough. The media's not talking about that enough. We need to talk about that enough. We need to rally together and make sure that we're doing that. <laughs> President Trump, shots rang out. President Trump stood tall and he's on the rise. And he came and he said what? He said what? He said fight, 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 fight. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fight and we're gonna win. So end with God bless all of you. God bless President Trump and God bless America. Let's go.